everybody, my name is Lisa. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm part of the learning team at uh, Southampton City Council Cultural Services. We've got three uh, venues that you might have visited. Sea City Museum, here on the screen. This is Tudor House, might have been there on a school trip. And this is the Art Gallery. And uh, you can visit the Art Gallery and do lots of activities with your uh, teachers or your parents, but today we're doing something using recycled materials that we can make at home. Here's a picture of the inside of the art gallery. You'll see it's got a lovely staircase coming up and really high ceilings. If you go to our website, you probably can't see these pictures very well, but if you go to our website, you can have a look around and you can also discover lots of artwork from the collection. I'll show you. Here's a, our website. And it's a, where is it? Here we are, www.southamptoncityartgallery.com. And you can go on these tabs along the top and find one that says collection. You click on that, it will bring up lots of different boxes. And when you, when you go on into them, it shows you even more artwork. Now today, out of our recycled materials, we're going to be making a monster. So I was having a look around the artworks to see what I could find. Now, you're not going to be able to see these pictures very well, because obviously we're looking at them on my computer. But if you can go online with an adult or your teacher, you'll uh, be able to have a look at them properly. So I had a look at the Renaissance paintings, and these are the really old ones from the collection, painted hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And there's this one here, got a bit of a scary title. It's called Night, Night Death, and the Devil. And as I said, you won't be able to see very well, but in the corner here, I'll describe him to you. He's a bit of a strange looking animal. He's got curly horns and a horn coming out the top of his head. He almost looks a bit like a, a bit like an angry goat. Looks quite monstrous to me. And then I went back and I thought, oh, well, what else could I find? So I had a look around again, went back to the collection. And uh, when I went to, where is it here? Ah, yes, 19th century British painting. I saw this one on the front. This one, here it is, is called Sadak, In Search of the Waters of Oblivion. And that's, it's actually about a man who has to go on a journey to the waters of oblivion. Sound like quite a scary place. You can't really see very well, I know, on the picture. But to describe it to you, there's a waterfall flowing down here and Sadak is clinging onto the edge. And he's going on a, on a mission to save his wife. But you can find out a bit more about that story online. And in the background, it's all red and kind of fiery. And I was thinking, what might he find when he went further into the painting? And uh, what might he discover? Maybe it would be a monster. I bet you could make some really good monsters of your own. I'm going to move my computer out of the way so we've got space to make. Right, so to make your monster, you will need quite a few carrier bags. Can't tell you exactly how many, that will depend on the size of your monster. Some boxes, I've got a pizza box here. Just needs to be a bit of cardboard. Some pens, oops, dropping them everywhere. Scissors, I've got two pairs. Sometimes I like to use different pairs to cut different things. Not essential, you just need one pair. And uh, some sticky tape or some glue. And some bottle lids. Can you guess what they're gonna be? You don't need to have these. You could always use cardboard if you don't have any bottle lids. Anyway, the first thing you're going to do is get your cardboard and open it up. Then when you've opened it up flat, you're going to use the scissors, oh, lost my carrier bag, to cut a shape out of it. This is the one I made earlier, but I'll show you. You might have to get an adult to help you draw it draw it so you can see it's pretty much this kind of shape and these are going to be the feet of your monster this is going to be his body and this is the bit that you're going to stick his eyes onto now I've already cut mine out it's about nine inches from top to bottom maybe you could find a ruler doesn't have to be exact at all could be shorter could be bigger if it's smaller gonna need Less carrier bags, if it's bigger, you're going to need more carrier bags. Anyway, get my carrier bag back. Then the next thing you need to do when you've cut out that shape is 
get a carrier bag and you're going to cut the circles out of it. I found the quickest way to do this was to fold my carrier bag over and over and then fold it over and over again and I squeezed all the air out of it so it's flat like that and I got some scissors this is where you might need to experiment with scissors because some scissors are better for doing this than others and I hold it together and I'm going to cut lucky choice on the scissors there these ones are working quite well I'm going to cut a circle shape out of it And then when I've done that, I'm going to fold the circle shape over. And I'm going to, I'm using other scissors now, you cut a slit. There we go, can you see? E -e -e, slit in the middle of the carry bags. And then open them back up. And then when I do this, I should end up with lots and lots. So some of them might be a bit doolally, but generally you'll end up with quite a lot of circles. And then what you need to do is with your monster, Pinch the top bit together, so I've pinched the V together and slide them onto the top. And the bit that's going to be his feet should keep them from falling off the bottom. Does that make sense? And you go on and on and on and on and on and on, putting all the carry bag onto your monster's body until it's totally filled up. Luckily for you, I thought you wouldn't want to watch me doing that. So uh, we did one earlier. You can see here, I've not just used a... Uh, normal carry bags or use some bread wrapper as well it doesn't really matter what it is when you've done that and you've filled up your whole monster body you get to color him in mm, which color shall i use i'm going to use what should i use today red i'm not going to color mine in really neatly I'm just going to scribble mine in so you can see coloring in the bit that's going to be his feet And the bit that's going to be the top. You can obviously spend some time colouring yours in really nice and neatly. You might want to put scales on it or stripes, spots. And then you can cut the feet shape. Now don't cut them really really small because you've got to bend this bit over. You see I bend that bit over and then it will allow your monster to stand up. There we go. So now I'm going to cut the feet shape, and I don't want to cut them teeny tiny because if I do that, what's going to happen? It's going to topple over. So I'm just going to cut one, cut another, and then I'm going to give them some toes. Oh, I might give them some claws actually. As you can see there. Uh, See, actually, hold up against a bit of white, pop up some claws. Do the same for the other side. I'm going to do mine super duper quick. Obviously, you can spend quite a lot of time on yours. Get them out of the way. And then maybe uh, mine don't look that feet like at the moment, but if I was going to spend ages over, I'd probably give them some toenails or maybe some hairy feet. Anyway, done that. And then the next thing you can do is draw the face on. Have a think about what you might want to do. You might want to have a nice, smiley, cheery face. I'm going to go with fangs. That's a disappointing black pen. I'll go over it with another one. There we are, some nice fangs. And then you can put that to one side and we're going to make the eyes. So to make the eyes, if you haven't got lids, you could just use a bit of card. You could just draw the eyes on there if you wanted to, couldn't you? But I do have lids. So I am going to cut out a couple of circles. This is just a bit of scrap card. I have it at home. It doesn't have to be card. It can just be paper. That's fine. And cut them out so they fit inside. Okay? Actually, what I should say is I find it easier to colour them in before sticking them inside the bottle top. So I'll do my two so you can see. And again, at this point, it's your chance to give your monster a bit of personality, a bit of character. Is it a monster that is waiting to give someone a bit of a boo? Or is it a nice friendly monster that you might share a cup of tea with? You can decide. It's up to you.
Again, I would spend a bit more time on the eyes, but I'm just doing mine super duper quick. So I'm using a colouring pen. Just do, done a bit like a cat's eye on mine. Bit of glue on it. If you haven't got glue, you could use a little sticky tape pad. If you cut them really well, you could probably just wedge them in the middle. There we go, stick that on there. And now you can, you can attach these to your monsters. They're called antennae. I wouldn't, I when I first made one, put them right up here. And can you imagine what happened by the morning? He'd like, whoop, his eyes have flopped over because they were a bit too heavy. So I find it's best to cut it down a little bit and stick it on a bit further down. You can stick it on with Pritt stick, or you could make a pad out of sellotape where you get a bit of sellotape and roll it round so it's sticky on the outside and stick that on. Or you might be lucky enough to have some sticky fixers or something like that at home. Chop that one. If you didn't want to chop this bit off, you could leave it on, couldn't you? And like colour it in a bit like a horn or something. Let's stick the other one on. There we go. Hideous, isn't it? There's my monster. He's all done. Now I've done mine quite quickly just to show you, but obviously if you're at home and you've got a bit more time, have a mooch around, see what you've got. You might have different colored plastics. You could make it stripy. You could alternate colors if you've got different colors. If you've got things like pipe cleaners at home, you could add them on for arms or antennae. What else could you do? You might have something like sequins or bits of, I don't know, plastic wrapper that you could cut out to make scales or feathers. You can do anything you want with it. This is just a really basic start for you. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, up here on the shelf, you'll see some other things. There's a Yeti up there. If you go on the Art Gallery website, you'll find that we've got a page called Online Resources and there'll be some different links to other videos for making and more and more will carry on to appearing over time. So. Uh, Hope you've had a nice time, as I said, and uh, see you again soon. Bye.